Cossack today is a quiet little settlement that offers limited bed and breakfast accommodation and has a cafe for visitors to purchase refreshments. There's also a campsite for self-contained caravans and motorhomes with a limit of three nights stay. Most of the major surviving buildings have been refurbished and the surrounds on the Harding River are very attractive. Sightseeing and fishing are the main reasons people visit and it's possible to launch boats next to the old wharf. The area is best visited in the cooler months of the year between June and August. Cossack is located on the mouth of the Harding River near Roeburn. It was originally known as Tientsin Harbour and was first established in 1863. The name Cossack came from the ship HMS Cossack that visited with Governor Weldeboard in 1872. The name Tientsin originated with one of Walter Padbury's ships that was used to deliver supplies to miners and settlers. A causeway was connected between this coastal port and the larger inland town of Roburn in 1870, but flooding regularly destroyed large sections of it. By 1887, it had been turned into a tramway with horse-drawn trams. It was the first port in the northwest, and as such earned most of its early living from the pearling industry that first began in 1864. Pearling may have been mostly owned and operated by Europeans, but the bulk of the labour and diving was done first by Aborigines and later by Malays, Japanese and other Asians. Most of the pearling operations eventually moved to Broome in 1886. The old town once boasted a Chinese bakery, two Chinese stores, a Japanese store, a Singalese tailor and even a Turkish bathhouse. Although the remaining buildings suggest a rather well-established town, an early visitor described it in the following way. With the exception of three good-sized buildings, all of the inevitable galvanised iron types and a cluster of disreputable shanties made chiefly of empty beer cases and flattened kerosene cans. I saw nothing to warrant the name of a town. Heavens, I said to myself, this surely can't be Cossack. Ships called in at Cossack to deliver supplies for the stations and emerging town of Roburn. They returned south with wool, pearl shell and other commodities as well as passengers heading back to civilization for a holiday or to conduct business. During cyclone season, these trips were hazardous indeed, but when the ship Emma vanished during calm weather on its way back to Fremantle, many families in the northwest lost loved ones or friends. The lost cargo also brought financial hardship to many, but the loss of life touched most people living in the Pilbara at the time. The reason for the sinking and the whereabouts of the wreck remained a mystery for the next 10 years. Eventually the wreck was discovered lying on a reef not far from Point Cloats. In the 1930s, a turtle soup factory was established in Cossack when the Bond store was sold to the Montebello Sea Products Limited for £500. Despite early optimism about the factory reviving the fortunes of the town, the company went bankrupt in 1935, which is probably just as well for the local population of green turtles. The port began to silt up in the early 1900s. Many buildings, including the World Hotel, were demolished after World War II, and the town was abandoned in the 1950s. Restoration work began in 1979, with the project being completed in 1991. Of all the buildings that remain, it's the courthouse that really stands out. This is the image you'll see in most tourist publications. It was constructed for the sum of £2,058 and was designed by George Temple Pool. Today, it houses a small collection of artefacts and is one of the most interesting buildings in the Pilbara. Just off the coast at Cossack is Jarman Island, named after Captain J.T. Jarman of the Bark Tientsin. The lighthouse on the island was prefabricated in Birmingham, England, 
and shipped to the island via Fremantle. The first lighthouse keeper was appointed in 1888, and the ruins of the keeper's quarters can still be seen on the island. The light operated until May 1985, when it fell into disrepair. A restoration project was begun in 2003 and completed in 2005. It is hoped that a similar project will be undertaken to restore the keeper's quarters.